by Miriam Gates, illustrated by Sarah Jane Hinder. The sun in the sky is going down. And the clouds float by. The stars sparkle brightly. As the moon rises high. The birds are flying back now. To their homes in the trees. The ladybugs settle softly. Between the butterflies. And the bees. The little blue cat who lives in the moon. Whispers, good night world, you will be dreaming soon. practice the poses from the book so um, you will need a yoga mat if you have one in your house if you don't no worries you can use a beach towel on a, on a carpet or any other area in your house that feels comfortable for you um, and also I'm wearing the headphones so you can hear me better you don't need headphones I just have a microphone um, that helps me to record my voice so you can hear me better um, so let's practice the basic uh, movements of these poses I will be saying inhale that means you breathe in let's practice inhale and exhale inhale means you breathe in and exhale means you breathe out. Easy. Let's start. So let's start with the first pose that was in our book. The sun pose. So inhale your arms over your head and exhale your arms back down as I breathe in and as I breathe out my arms lift up to the sky and then back down like sun rays that one was easy Cloud. So you will need to spread your legs a little bit, just like that, and move your feet a little bit out, like that. Ready? All right. Inhale and bend your knees. Exhale and straighten your legs, lifting up your arms above your head. 
as I breathe in, I bend my knees and scoop the clouds around me. As I breathe out, I stand tall and release the clouds over my head. All right, the next one will be the star. So you will need to press down through your feet, put them a little uh, wider, and reach your arms out wide. You see, like the star. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, my arms reach out wide towards the stars. Thank you. How was that one? So the next one will be half moon. Inhale and lengthen your spine. Exhale and bend to one side. Repeat with the other side. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, my spine is long and I bend to each side like a crescent moon. Thank you. Bird pose. So I'm going to turn around and you will need to focus on one point with your eye somewhere in front of you. So, because you will need to left your foot behind you and find balance just like that. You can put it a little further as long as you have the balance, control your balance. front of you. Spread your arms. And move your feet behind your back just like that. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, I focus on one point. And I use my arms to soar. That's it for the first The next one is going to be a little more tricky. So, um, but you will manage to do that, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, become tall with your spine. Rest your foot on your ankle. Or you can also move it a little bit up above your knee depend what's what's more comfortable for you make it comfortable every pose should be comfortable all right and then we're going to switch our feet so ready become tall in your spine and open your heart rest your foot on your ankle or above your knee and balance and we're going to switch feet Wider and open 
up your feet. So you are going to bend your knees and roll your shoulders back. And at the same time, you press your palms together, just like that. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, my palms press together as I squat on my leaf and I'm a ladybug sitting on my leaf. I breathe in and as I breathe out, I sit 
back on my heels, still and bound, just like earth. Mm -hmm.